he has to say storm safe here. Uh, today, we're going to do a, an ASTM E1105 water infiltration test on this single hung window assembly. So we completed the primary construction of our test chamber. Uh, our two by fours are in place and they're nice and stable. Uh, Richard's testing the bisque screen to make sure it's not going past the two by fours and, and, and it's fine. Okay, so we're going to begin our test. We have a copy of the standard with us. It's uh, according to the standard, you need to keep a copy of it so you can reference it as you're doing the test. Our stir rack is working. We're at, we're at 12 PSI. Everything's good. Over here, the pump is supplying water. We've got a nice sheet of rain coming out. It's evenly spaced. 24 inches between the spray nozzles and 20 inches to the, to the actual test specimen. Okay, so we're ready to do our, our test cycle. We got our stir rack working on the outside. We were outside already. We checked the pressure. It's consistent at 12 PSI. We have a nice, even spread of water across the whole assembly. We're going to do our first check without any pressure because sometimes if there's a problem, the window might leak right now. So we'll take a look. We got no water infiltration at the header near the glass sash. What we know is we're going to start our pumps. Turn our pump on and we gently start dialing the pump up to create our vacuum. And if you see the chamber, you'll see the chamber start to bring suction. And there we are at 1.6 inches of water. It's six pounds per square foot of water. We built a really good chamber. The, the chamber is not touching the window. It's very compressed. It's a tight seal. And we're looking around the window, under the window. So far, we see no signs of water infiltration. Oh, now we see over in the corner here. You see that? Now we're starting to see signs of water, but it's still sitting on the meeting rail. Let's see if it comes over the meeting rail. If it comes over the meeting rail and starts getting into the into the into the building itself, 